Hi everybody, here's Christian from Team Morkest, and she's dead, she's wrapped in plastic! <laughs> and my name is Putty, and I like JJ Abrams. Oh, you shouldn't have said that, you shouldn't have said that, I'm already cringing. Uh, this is Netrunning with Team Orcast. this is uh, the 13th of uh, September, I think, uh, not exactly sure. Hive World, game, uh, good night tournament kit, good night kit tournament. Anyways, I'm playing against Falco, Falco's on the left, Falco has to play standing up. I'm on the right, I am uh, Kit, Kate? Ah, Kate. coming off of that, Nasir he was in a Seer victory, right? Well, Nasir is coming up in the second episode. Oh! We recorded it out of order. We already were uh, uh, teasing. We are spoiling what's coming up ahead. Uh, no, this is the game before that. This is the first round, first uh, game. Uh, Falco's playing HB Engineering the Future. Mm. And this is going to be a fast and loose game. At least the second one is a fast and loose. It's, uh, Falco is a fast and loose person. Well, yeah, when you stand up and play, <laughs> yeah. there's only one thing you can do, and that's be fast and loose. He's playing the way uh, the way Tom Cruise's character is playing in... Um, in Minor Gun. No, yes, also, but also Minority <laughs> Report. It's both. Or Live, Die, Repeat. Or Mission Impossible, like hanging off a wall and, and playing the cards, like throwing them <laughs> off a wall. Catching one sweat. One sweat drip. Oh man, that's coming him. off of his glasses. That's him. Just that, that's barely. Falco. And, that, that, and then, of course, falling down, he hurt his back, and that's why he's standing up. Uh, yeah. So uh, he insults to ice, and I run on uh, the R and Ds. And you didn't see anything. Not important. And then, uh, interestingly, I first ran, and then I did my hedge fund uh, sure gamble. <laughs> hedge fund sure gamble. I'm cringing. Right now. You're cringing right now? Mm, so and, hard. And Diesel! Diesel! You know they're talking about limiting the legal age for drinking diesel? <laughs> wow. I like that this has become the same joke as uh, they take one look at their Xbox 360, turn around 360 degrees and walk away. Oh, uh, <laughs> that's a that's that's a corny one. Anyways, it's uh, so bad. There's a clone ship, and uh, Falco installs stuff in his server and gets lots of credits. Data sucker. A data sucker indeed. And then we do uh, make us eye, uh, force him into rested stuff, and it's of course Wall of Thorns. Man, ran into this. That was a bold move, doing a Maker's Eye run without knowing what the hell Ice was Well, there. I ran last turn and he didn't rest anything, so I'm like, alright, I'm gonna force him to rest this. And there was an easy mark. I, I was expecting that he didn't rest it because it wouldn't stop me. Mm. So, so he outplayed you, son. He yeah. outplayed you. And he destroyed some really nice stuff there. There's a Deus Ex that went away. Goodbye, Deus Ex. Goodbye, we hardly knew you. <laughs> Playing a different Kate here, by the way, uh, from last time. Oh, I'm really excited about having Falco on a on a video here because you know I, I haven't played against Falco. We usually Falco. only see his finger, right? Yeah, we usually see him just flipping off the camera, but finally he's we see him doing other stuff, not just flipping off the camera. I almost bought a GoPro on Black Friday. Hmm. You should have because you've been on a tournament recently. I heard. Yeah, I went to a tournament. Uh, it was with a bunch of the people from the Philadelphia uh, play group. They Shout all played out. with the champ. You haven't played with the actual champ, right? No, no, no. Dan the man. Nope. Remember those same old things? <clears throat> mm. Same old things, and then there is a. Uh, Stop my friend Coach. Oh, uh, there's an Adonis campaign. Rest by Falco himself. It's Rainy Man. No, I can't. I can't. I, I really want to sing Rainy Man whenever one of those. I, I would also love to sing, but I'm I'm a little bit. I have a little bit sore throat. Oh no. Yeah. Have you been? Uh, you been drink, partying too hard? Yeah. Man, Are you Germans, I tell you. Yeah. Never stop raving. <laughs> I can't stop raving. I've seen Triple X. I know how German parties are. Man, I recently saw um, uh, uh, 
Call Me Guilty? No, no. Uh, find Me Guilty. Find Me Guilty. Mm, so good. Okay. This movie's fantastic. fantastic. Best Vin Diesel movie ever. So, running on that uh, on that uh, Adonis <laughs> campaign there, he resists the Ichi, away. and I click through the Ichi, and I could trash uh, that thing. You took his men away. No, it's not an Ichi, of course. The Victor, I'm sorry about that cringe. <laughs> I'm just sad you took his men away. I, I, I'm, I'm, I can't see those those men. Oh look, I'm look, we're showing the the click tokens that that Falco's using. Those are tiny little Cthulhu's. Mm. Very very cute. And then he's icing up his army even more. I I think I'm gonna play standing up all the time now, just just because it's cool. It's, it's such a power move. Intimidating. Oh, look at Jackie. Jackie Jack. Jack is back. And Jack gets trashed. But I'm down on my money and just three credits left. Ugh. My, my cat. My cat is... Uh... Your cat is causing troubles. Yeah. This cat is up to no good. And I get a prepaid voice pad. There she is, prepaid Kate. Had a lot of problems with her during the nationals, so I thought I'm gonna test around with those shapers. Mm, shapers. I really, I had a, a fun professor deck that I was running for a while, but um, I decided that I needed to try out Nasir. Yeah, Nasir, Nasir, quality time. Nasir, you you did, you did well with Nasir. You defeated me a couple of times on Octagon, which which yeah it is a fun deck, but it gets complicated and it takes forever. So I can imagine there won't be a lot of people playing him. I just imagine some genius being like like playing Nasir all this time and then eventually developing his skills to play Nasir with incredible speed. You know, like I wish. There's just so many things that you have to do. It's like yeah. well. I gotta scavenge this David here. Order of soul there, this. and paying this, and paying that, and getting those monies yeah. back. Yeah. Just and you have to talk through it all because mm. the person you're playing is like, what? What just happened? You <laughs> just like ran through everything I have, and like three things are re de res. I'm, I'm going to explain to you how I just won. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna win in three moves. I just I already won twenty three minutes ago. <laughs> God. We have our go-to jokes here, and look. Uh, so 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 Falco's doing an interesting thing there. I don't have any money, so he decides to put up something behind the victor there and advance twice. But he advances twice. B. I hope that it's an overmind. No, not overmind. Pro uh. Cerebral Overrider, and you're just gonna get blasted that, in the face. That could be. Also, it could be maybe an NAPD contract. Oh, it could be an NAPD, or it could be a five point uh, agenda. It could be anything. So I got a credit. Project I guess June bug out of nowhere. Yeah, so I got a credit. I guess I uh, I dirty laundry on archives. Two clicks left. Getting out the same old thing and drawing a card. I'm deciding not to run on this. Wonder if that's an agenda. What do you think, Nick? Ooh. I think that it is a. Uh... Oh man, he's messing with you. Yeah, like he advances to once and installs another card. What? What? What is going on here, Falco? What is going on here? Are you trying to? To like smuggle an agenda through. <laughs> What's the agenda? Uh, it's not a HP agenda. <clears throat> What's the overscoring agenda? Oh, there's multiple ones. It could be uh, Project Vitruvius. Yes, uh, there's not a dirty laundry on archives. Mm. Get, getting up those mon monies. Three clicks left. I could run on this now. Try it out, man. Get in there. But what is a cerebral override, I mean, that's going to be painful. What's the likelihood of somebody who isn't playing a joke deck? Oh, fuck putting off, a cerebral fuck override. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh got you. man, ran into a snare right there. Welcome to being tagged, son. Damn. I was lucky that I had enough uh, cards on my hand. 
Oder? Musst du nicht. Du kannst sie. I mean, deciding not to trash the snare. I always wonder if it's a good idea to trash a snare. <laughs> My cats have. We brought our kitten with us. Yes. Thanksgiving. And he just came back, so he's saying hello to all of the other cats yeah. by chasing them around the house while they cry. Yeah. So if anyone hears anything, a lot of rumbling, it's my cat. It's Jackson Howard. The, yeah, the tiniest cat, Jackson Howard, he has one eye. He's a dinosaur accident. It just depends on what they cooked up in this lab. <laughs> Man, now your whole life is like, what do I do? You my start second guessing yourself? This is a story on how my life got twisted upside down. I run into one small snare, but my mother got scared. He wanted to trash the snare, he trashed the snare, but installed something else in there. Drawing up those cards. Man, what is Falco doing here? Weird HB deck with snares in there and possibly some more stuff. Also, War of Thorns, also a weird splash in, in, uh, in HV. Certainly mm -hmm. taxing, but also, of course, damaging. So I'm thinking, and also, of, of course, we see Victor here, which also does brain damage. So maybe this HV is trying to kill me. During the tournament, I flatlined one guy because I had put two shocks into my archives. Mm. And then uh, I had scored two House of Knives. Mm, nice. But I can only use it once. He only had two cards. Uh, so I dodge laundry and... Oh! Ooh, and he scores the Gila hands there. Being a little passive right now, trying to feel myself into the game, trying to recover from all those hits I got from the economical and, uh, I guess, card advantage hits. What a strange agenda this is. The G Gila hands arcology. Yeah. Uh, two clicks, gain three credits. Yeah, yeah. Let's buy two, get one free. Just like target video sales. If we're recording this on Black Friday, you can tell, okay? Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, same old thinking, uh, make us eye. Let me tell you the one thing I'm looking for. The one thing. Ooh, no rest on the outer eyes. So I clone uh -oh. ship in a day set. I'm <laughs> awkward. I used clone <laughs> ship. <laughs> I didn't even realize it's what you were doing. Oh, I used clone good. ship and start looking through my deck. Oh man, Falco is just a good one that he noticed this. Man, he's just he's just such a, such a good player. Anyway, uh, getting out uh, Dios X there and breaking the. Wall of Thorns with a Deus Ex. <coughs> and I will see three cards. Scoring something! Yay! Ooh, an even really good one. Uh, this is a. Whew, we haven't seen this this agenda very often on this show. See, I don't recognize this picture. Yeah, it is the um, uh, something something retreat, executive retreat. A five three agenda, and the idea is that when you score it, you mix all your hard cards back into R and D, yeah. and then you draw five new cards. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you put it's an agenda counter. Yeah, you can use the agenda counter to draw five new cards. With what? which, with that uh, new HP identity that was spoiled, that's going to be interesting. You mean the new Wayland identity that that? Or Wayland identity. Yeah. Wayland identity. Yeah. That, well, like the agenda counter identities will uh, will change a lot of things. Yeah. Quite a bit. Uh-oh, uh-oh, no, Falco. The Falco installs a new card in there, and I just don't, don't know what it is. He um, he gets credit and, and uses also Gila hands to get more credits. Clone chip. 
and drawing up cards, just drawing a lot of cards, playing a clone chip, playing it safe. No breakers out so far. You could get a breaker out. I could. I'm being very, very efficient. Just maker's eye accesses, accesses. Hedge fund on uh, on Falco's side. Akamatsu mem chip, yeah. Ooh. Clone chip, mem chip, all the chips. All them chips. Clone man. chips, mem chips, friendships, all those chips. Whoa, whoa. Friendships, relationships, clone chips. And another data sucker. Now I'm playing with power. Two data suckers and running on archives to get uh, those data suckers up. Oh no, Eve campaign! <laughs> it's me. It's raining ladies! <laughs> raining ladies. <laughs> Maybe we have to we have to sing something about I don't know from Spice Girls now. <laughs> Yo, tell me what I want, what I really, really want. <laughs> no, this is the uh, I can't make a joke about some sort of goat that plays games these days. Game of goat. Yeah, we can't we can't talk about that anymore. People are getting mad at us. Yeah, I think that that's, that's uh, that movement jumped the shark a little bit. Anyway, we get we see a short gamble here. Everything old is new again. What goes around comes around. A penny saved is a penny earned. Uh, I can't think of any other phrases right now. There is a fish in the percolator. <laughs> oh, running on those Eve <laughs> campaigns and trashing them. Oh no, ladies! There goes Anita Sarkeesian. There is no place for ladies in my life. No matter if real or, or simulated ones. And especially not in my science fiction. There is just one lady, and this is Kate. Ooh. Or the Ooh. Oracle. The Oracle was nice. Look at this. Uh, so Falco uh, really, he's really... He's invading your territory. Yes, oh, that's that's as well. But he's also, like, setting up his incredible defense here. I'm glad you finally put away that sure game. <laughs> yeah. I want to just look at it, you know. Oracle's nice, you know? Yeah, Oracle May with, the, with her ring and her beauty. You know, Oracle May looks a little bit like Audrey from Twin Peaks. Mm -hmm. She has the same, like, beauty mark. Just What's same. his face? Yeah. Every man in the entire world was infatuated with that poor girl. I can understand why. Oh, uh, David Lynch. David Lynch. Uh, anyway, there is a, a parasite installed on that World of Thorns. Good target, which will eat a little bit. Uh, uh, you know, it will take some time for 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 it to eat all the way through. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, yeah, still have one MU left, and I guess I could uh, could get out the self modifying code uh, to actually pop it to get something out. So, I'm good. I'm good. I just need some money, and I can run what on whatever. And even getting out of Plascrete because I saw that that Falco is trying to kill me. So my thinking is I have to be ready for whatever, right? Maybe he splashed in a wall of uh, wall of thorns. <laughs> well, he's obviously splashed in a wall of thorns, but he, maybe he also splashed in a scorched earth. Uh, and maybe he, his idea is that I will run into a snare. No, now we'll never know what that card was. Uh oh. Oh no. So. Now, what is it? Is it a new trap? Is it is it something old? We have to assume that that or that thing that he had there was some kind of trap, and a new thing that he installed there might be a trap, or maybe not. <laughs> I love this is definitely my style of gameplay here. Yeah, Falco is the kind of person who would install a trap over a trap. Running on R and D. Ooh, Victor 2.0. <laughs> Alright, clicking through the Victor 2.0. Yeah. And then we have a Heimdall. Uh, yes! <laughs> yes! 
So Falco is, is playing with big eyes here. Big eyes, big traps, big prizes. I love it. So I am self-modifying code out a parasite and selling a parasite on that uh, Heimdall. And then I'm using <laughs> all of the data sucker tokens to... <laughs> oh, okay. I was like, wow, this is like wheel... You're, you're playing a game of Dune here. You are Paul Atreides. The only problem is now, I probably won't be able to get to the Wall of Thorns. <clears throat> so I jack out at this point. But I was able to relieve him of quite a bit of money now. Yeah, like yourself, quite a bit of money too, though. Yeah, whatever. 13 money or so. Ah, he's back at two monies. That's good. I'm fine with that. It was nice to see a Heimdall thrown away as though it were nothing. And also, I know exactly what, what awaits me on, uh, on R&D now. So I can later on, I can maybe play uh, another Maker's Eye. Getting out another SMC. Mm, there is uh, Jackson Howard, and Falco's drawing Jack with Jackson Howard, so I have to assume that it is another trap. So I, I guess I made a call that it is in a trap, and it is. It seems to be trap-ish. <laughs> Running archives, getting two data sucker tokens. Ooh. We saw there is a. That's not good. There is a punitive counter strike in the in the archives. <laughs> so Falco is definitely trying to kill me, and getting out those plaskrit was a good choice. Yep. And he uses Jackson Howard to uh, rescue some cards from uh, okay. from his archives. That's why he we shuffled the R and D right now. <sighs> I'm just drawing cards. I'm being really passive right now. I'm really entertained by the, his deck. Yeah. Oh, oh he strengthens R&D again. Good choice too, because I would have run probably this turn to, to trash his um, Board of Thorns there. Same old thing. On. Lucky find, yes! Three clicks, uh, but I get nine credits. It's not the best choice here, but uh, it is... Um, I really... I'm, I'm aching for money, so... We are a bit confused about how many clicks I have. I wasted my entire turn for this. Got a uh, credit and then used three clicks for a same old thing. Lucky find. Man, this whole time I've wanted to make a joke about the 13... Uh, credit seven point agenda from the original Netrunner, and I cannot remember the name. Well, it's going to be reprinted, right? They've joked about it being reprinted. It would be amazing if it did. There is going to be a seven, seven, seven agenda point uh, agenda. Yeah, so it, the one that was in the original game was uh, 13. Uh, you had to pay 13 to get it. Mm. Oh, uh, make a mistake here, running on the, uh, HQ, I said iron D, uh, but I closed my eyes, so I couldn't see what kind of ice there was. <laughs> what we know that is a Victor 2.0. So I'm running on HQ, what will I see? It is a Heim die. Oh man. So there's more unpleasantness coming down the pipe. Oh, Falco strengthens his advancement server there. And he did purchase tokens at some point, I think. Now I'm running on R&D. And uh, now I have to deal with two Victor 2.0s. So I'm clicking through the first Victor 2.0 and I'm jacking out. This is not cool, guys. This is not cool. Victor 2.0 is an incredibly strong card. Very, very taxing. A little bit too complicated, I think, with a, with a 
with a trace, and that trace gets you a counter, and that counter gets you a, uh, brain damage. Like, is, does it really have to be that complicated? But, uh, yeah, like, getting th there is no cheap way of getting through it, and 5 strength for 5 credits is always good. Alright, the archives are being protected more. He doesn't want to... Uh, Falco doesn't want me to, to load up my data sucker tokens on archives anymore. <laughs> I think at this point I would have purged virus tokens. Oh, there is Natman. <coughs> Atman. Oh, and he's calling you. Oh no, you have your. Atman begins. What strength will it be? Five to get through those Victor 2.0s. He actually Falco suggests make it a strength four. <laughs> and I'm like, ah, all right, maybe you're right. <laughs> because um, the strength four will get me through the through the through the uh, Eli. And then we're discussing like what 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 strength data suck uh, uh, admin is, is here. Like I will lose a lot of data suckers running on R&D, hmm. but I will still have the opportunity to run on uh, on HQ. So that's nice. I'm getting a credit now. Oh, same old thing. Make us I. Ooh, how can you get through this time? Well, with the uh, admin strength four, I'm using two data suckers, and then I'm uh, two more data suckers to trash the final ice, and then four credits in total to get through the subroutines of those two victors. And then I will see three cards. And of course, he's saying like, now you will see my uh, my NAPD contract. I trashing the cerebral overwriter, and I see no agendas whatsoever. Oh. I understand those feels. You uh, you understand how how people feel. Oh yes. man, oh man, look at this. <laughs> and then Falco immediately shuts down my new. You had one chance. This is not take a chance on me. <laughs> na, na, na. Drawing up those cards. Diesel. I'm Groot. <laughs> Your family. I love you. <laughs> it's bleeding. And then Falco overwrites that trap that was in that server all along with a new kind of thing. Oh, he reconsiders. He reconsiders? No, he doesn't. I don't know. I guess he installed something in there. Anyways, he has lots of money to rest, all sorts of nasty stuff. And then, uh, yeah. Time for some sure gambling. You know. It Corporation is. should have a card called New Kind of Thing. <laughs> as a as a difference to same old thing? <laughs> yes. Well, they, they have archive memories. Or it could just be called McRib. <laughs> <laughs> you can play it every, every fourth turn. <laughs> this agenda can be uh, advanced once every seven turns. Mm, yeah. That's good. All right, uh, Adonis campaign uh, is installed here and rest. Uh, uh, Falco apologizes that this is an experiment deck and and that's why it's, it's kind of doing nothing right now. <laughs> Look at how much you can't do. I win. <laughs> I'm running on HQ. And there's an Ichi. Now it will cost me like four to get all the way through. I'm clicking through the Ichi and then I'm paying two credits to uh, to break the break the Eli. And there's an archive memories. Nothing of importance. Ugh. So much access. I should have seen more agendas by now. I guess we both should have seen more agendas by now. 
Ich bin dran. Ist klar, ich nehme mir drei runter. Yes. I apologize if you expected a Fast and Furious game. Well, you said it was Fast and Furious at the beginning and then you lied to us. I lied. Ah, getting out another private voice pad. Sweet. No, one more prepaid voice pad. Woo! <laughs> All of my prepaid voice pads are out now. It would only be fair if uh, if you played pad campaign. Yeah. It would add all sorts of closure to this board. You think pad campaigns are the same pads that are actually yes. prepaid voice pads? I think so. And look, uh, Falco just adds another Eve campaign to his menagerie of, of uh, really kinky robots. Really kinky robots. Oh, he trashes one of the robots and inst uh, installs something over it and advances it twice. <laughs> and I'm like, is this another Cerebral Overrider again? Uh. <laughs> totally not the Cerebral Overrider this time. Wink, wink. Well, it could be now something different now, right? Because he saw that I haven't been running on, on, on his traps. I'm not believing his lies. Yeah, don't fall for his lies. I'm checking the Cerebral Overrider. And there's a Heimdall there. And I'm breaking it with admin and two uh, data sucker tokens. And I'm clicking through the through the victor. Oh damn! Damn! Priority requisition. It, just like that, you're what one point from victory? Yeah, sneaky, sneaky Falco, you try to get an agenda through here. Little do you know that all of the other ones were agendas. He just installed over top of them each time. <laughs> <laughs> and he chose not to score them all the way through because it's Falco. Yeah. Falco is the kind I, of person. I could have won like five times, man. Falco is the kind of person who would troll me out that that way. <laughs> Oh, damn, making his server rock secure here. Rock secure? Mm -hmm. Secure like a rock. Mm -hmm. Like a tumbling rock down the hill. Now we're starting to get into Fast and Furious, like, 5, 6, 7. Like, ooh. ooh, there's a AR Levy Lab, Levy RA Lab, Lexus. Ah, there's just those words in some kind of hey, permutation. Hey, you put Levy back into your deck. Did I? Yes. That's awkward now. <laughs> you apologize! You can't handle the truth. <laughs> That's true, I can't. I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! <laughs> uh, all I can think of is the end of the original Rocky movie where he's like, You just gotta go! I'm going to go! I'm going And you can't understand a word he's saying. <laughs> if I can change, then you can change! Now that's the end of Rocky Four. If I can change, I can change! You can change! You can change! You can change! I can change! Everyone change! Please. Ch -ch 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 Changes. The oh, Falco being relentless with his advancing and installing here. And of course, this is a great timing from him because I don't have the monies to get into anything. Except maybe I do now. <laughs> Look at I found this. Maybe. I found this down. Maybe I found we should it. gamble here. Will get me through the night. A not sure gamble, a lucky find, of course. Two clicks left. Will I dare to run on this? It could be a cerebral override again. Running? Do I run him? Yeah. Oh, running on HQ. Ah, and I win the game. It is a Gila hands on his hand. Snatches from his hand. 
Wow. Man. He had all that ice out and all of that fun stuff everywhere, and he still lost the game. Uh, you know, as a person who's just been playing a lot of Glacier, and oh, and he's flipping off his final agenda there. Uh, he tried to score another agenda there, but I didn't fail for it. Well, I guess I did fail for it, but I tried one differently. He said he was agenda flooded a little bit at the end. Yeah, it seems that way. So yeah, what do you think about this game, Nick? I really enjoyed this game. I think if, uh, if if there was one phrase that we could talk about in this particular game, it is uh, too big to fail. Too big to fail, huh? F Falco, I think, uh, felt that he could just get a little, a little careless. I think it was, uh, there was a, a lot of luck involved for me that I was able to ju judge, uh, dodge all his traps uh, early enough. So that because you know he had a lot of kill um, kill situations I don't think here. It was luck. I think that you just need to call it what it is, and it is skill. I think I should call this something else, and that is hack the planet. Hack the planet. Hack the planet. Shut up and get in the car. Let's play it, Shit Like Superman. <laughs> Krypton got hacked. It was an inside job, guys. <laughs>